Okay, let's go. Okay, so he wandered off to the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. <laughs> yeah, Neil, what the fuck? You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I had actually slept. So, in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take in moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Look who it is! It's Little River! Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? <laughs> how nice. Look how adorable this is, you guys. They've known each other for so long. So five years old here. Just look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. <laughs> you said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm. What's wrong with having a name that everyone that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if 
If everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Eh, I suppose. What do you think those stars are? <laughs> what do you think those stars up there are, anyways? My dad said they were giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. I don't remember the kangaroo thing. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of the fires? A constellation? Yeah. Um, of other things, never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out of it first. Okay, we'll start in three. One, three, two, one, and I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Oh, but where in the sky? Think big. Bigger than all the other ones. Than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right there. There are two ears and a head. What else? And there. There's its two feet. Yes. What else? And... And the moon. The moon is its big round belly. I'm glad. I'm so happy they highlighted it for you. I was gonna show you guys with the mouse, but they got it. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I. I've never told anyone, but. I always thought they were lighthouses. You guys remember that from Act 1? Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Act 2? Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there. They can see the other lighthouses out there. But they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. And all they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses. And at me. Act 3. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That's why she was all obsessed with the lighthouse. That bag. What's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. You guys... It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Ugh, that's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another one. I don't like to brag, but I'm the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget, or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. 
You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Do you guys see that? That's why he wanted to go to the moon. That's where she got her platypus. And to make matters worse, the beta blockers made him forget about that. Look how happy she is. The beta blockers just took that from him. Took that from her. If they ever got lost... Wait, did that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva. What happened if they ever got lost? So meaning... He doesn't see her. I know you're in here. Received a note. To the moon. Was there another note? Oh no, it's right here. Oh no, it's not. Would Johnny River are to regroup if they got lost from each other? This is all your fault. <laughs> wow. I'm doing this for you. You're artificially generated bastard. <laughs> you artificially generated bastard. There she is. Turn around. Neil, I know what you are planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that I... Look, our contract is to send them to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, it's... Oh, wait, because she died, or because he died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... Fuck the contract. I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in four con court hearings. We'll appeal. We know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing Lip River because I believe in her, and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her! And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it? How? We're running out of time. Just trust me. This is the one who pushed me off the fucking lighthouse. Did you just... Freaking light data. Abusing your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Ava. Ah. Booby traps, really, Ava? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oh, piss off. Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk disorient distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ugh, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall.
Oh, you got to be freaking kid. Is this a joke to you, Eva? Dear Lord, they aren't just zombie Avas. They're zombie Avas. Oh, God damn it! I hope you're happy about that. Don't come any closer. I got plants. WA is the end of keyboard to shoot. Oh god, that sent me way back. Wow, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this is so elaborate. What the fuck? Then? What the hell? This whole thing is just a loop. Fuck this. Shit, dude. What the? I wasn't I was able to walk with the keyboard this whole fucking time. I was. Ava? What happened? Ava? His childhood, more bunnies. Oh God! <laughs> I think I just walk, keep walking straight. Hello, Neil. Morpheus? What? It's Ava, you idiot! No shit, we're the only ones here. <laughs> <laughs> Morpheus. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? You guys ready for some more feels? Some more feels? You get it? More feels? More feels? No. Fuck, I'm gonna be using the keyboard now. What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. One thing to disable my controls to feed m me some olives, but this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way I'm asking you to trust me. Oh, this is the only way I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where, where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser. There's no need to visual to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it. There's no time. Everything will be all right, man. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, what are you? Shh. Uh -huh. Hello? Sorry, kid. It already started. They're gonna hog all the good tables. 
They're all the same. Sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally. And olive refills are just steps away. Ugh, olives. You guys see what she did? Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. <laughs>